Yo, what to do YouTube? We got a different kind of video today. I'm actually going to be reacting to five times Mortal Kombat characters were banned competitively. I've never seen this video. I didn't even know there was five times that characters were even banned. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. So I actually, um, if you guys want to watch the original video, um, it's going to be on PND Ketchup and Mustard's YouTube channel, and I'll make sure to throw it in the description in case you guys ever want to go check that out yourselves and support them as well. Um, if you guys don't know who the guys who made these uh this video, they're actually two twin commentators that have been around in the Mortal Kombat tournament scene forever, longer than I've been in it. And uh, I'm actually genuinely interested to see what characters were banned, because I don't know who the hell got banned. I don't know if they got banned because they were just busted characters, or if they got banned because... um I know Kratos in MK9 was banned, because he was only PlayStation exclusive. And um, I think that was actually the only reason why, but unless there is a deeper reason. Some characters will end up being stronger than others in the overall meta. To have something be banned in tournaments requires something in particular to be a real problem. Whether it's characters being way too strong, unintended glitches breaking too much, or sometimes more, we are Ketchup and Mustard, and we are going to talk about five times that characters were straight up banned in competitive Mortal Kombat tournaments. <laughs> We start this video off with a surprisingly modern example of banned Mortal Kombat characters, and that's a few specific variations in Mortal Kombat X. In the intro, we Ermac. mentioned that often a character might be banned for being way too strong in terms of balance, and sometimes it's due to unintended glitches and bugs, and these variations both belong to the latter. Starting were... off is the most commonly known ban amongst MKX fans, Spectral Ermac and a specific version of the game where, for some reason, if Spectral was to use an airborne special move from this variation-specific float, Ermac would generate an entire chunk of EX meter instantly. This was what do you mean? oversight and completely unintentional, as it was fixed quickly after discovery, but not before being banned from the ESL Pro League in the meantime. The second MKX example was more- Wait, 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 wait. Anytime he did an attack- in the air out of his stance, his float stance, he got a full chunk of meter? What do you mean? For an infinite I wish they gave an example. In the corner. To put it simply, Mournful was a variation of Katana that gained a straightforward glaive toss instead of her traditional fan toss. The issue is that this move had enough advantage on hit to guarantee an attack follow-up, which would guarantee a glaive toss, which would guarantee another attack, which would guarantee another glaive toss, rinse repeat until you had yourself an infinite. This was also banned from the Pro League Yo. and was eventually fixed. Yo, I never knew that. For these kind of bro, that is sick. That is sick, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Good thing it got banned though, bro, because that looks like an infinite. Because it seems like if you got the execution to do it, like you literally get TOD'd, which means touch of death, which means you literally get hit once you die. these variations were to sneak their way in and nab some qualifying points, it could have had a disastrous effect on the rest of the season's competition. We take a trip back to the 3D era of Mortal Kombat for this Mortal Kombat Armageddon. The characters we're talking about now are the super bosses from MK Armageddon. I didn't even know this game was competitive. What on earth does he mean by super bosses? I didn't know there was a tournament scene. Super bosses was the term used to describe the kind of boss character in Armageddon that pretty much broke the rules of the game on a fundamental level. They're basically immune to throws and hitting them with many types of combos just didn't work properly. As they can't be popped up normally and even under circumstances where they can it still doesn't work the way it should and what you know how important both of these mechanics are in high level mka the community band mka together to avoid the headache this isn't as big of a deal as you might think though as in a game like armageddon yeah those characters deserve, deserve to get banned the only super bosses in the game were moloch onaga and blaze which perhaps was a blessing in disguise for moloch in particular but that's a point for another day Oh yeah, he it's looks busted. Position of being aware of Mortal Kombat 9 and its infamously strong top tiers, it might come as little to no surprise that this game did indeed have a character completely banned competitively. Cabal and his winning matchups versus every character in the game? Nope. Cyrax for the ability to obtain true 100% combos and winning rounds in a single touch? Definitely not. No. <laughs> in fact, it I knew it. The series one. I knew it. Only console exclusive guest character 
Kratos from the God of I War called series. It. Funnily enough, Balance actually had nothing at all to do with why Kratos was banned competitively. It was simply the fact that he was console exclusive to the PS3. I literally called and it. Given the fact that the it. tournament standard for MK9 was the Xbox 360, you can see why this might cause issues from a Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that tournaments back then were exclusively on Xbox during the MK9 era. And this was a PlayStation exclusive character, so like literally Xbox players like had if you didn't own a a PlayStation, you had no experience versus this character. Given the fact that the tournament standard for MK9 was the Xbox 360, you can see why this might cause issues from a logistical standpoint. Kratos was actually quite a strong and interesting character in MK9, so it was a shame to never see him pop up. Yeah, he was sick. But given the PS3 edition, I wonder who the best Kratos player was. And the fact that most major organizers were running their tournaments on 360s, it was just never on the cards for the good old God of War. Bro, I can't believe he was in that game. This that was, was sick. Most up in the air entry on this list because technically we Creative fighters, see more combat armor, yeah. the custom characters anyway. But given how big a part of the game creator fighter was in MKA, I thought it was worth mentioning as it was all in its entirety not permitted or seen as legit in high level MK Armageddon. To go back a step, MK Armageddon featured the ability to create custom characters for the first time in a Mortal Kombat game. You could customize all sorts of visuals and make some really cool stuff. Yo, the important thing what game is this? Every attack that your character had. All the way from Damn. Yeah, I'm too lazy to do all that kind of a uh, to even their weapon style. Customization for a character. This is a method of play that to be honest didn't have enough time to be thoroughly tested before making it into the final game. There is simply no way that everything to do with customs was going to launch completely balanced. What? And what's left is the ability to make some next level broken and unbalanced creations. It's heavily detailed in our recent custom characters in Armageddon video. Whether it's 100% combos and infinites. Dude, do you not see the damage output? wins on certain stages way too much unbreakable damage and the list really does go on this is why we would never see custom creations allowed in high level mk armageddon bro custom ah, abilities was cybot around way before mk11 name a more infamous character noob cybot seriously noob cybot was undeniably definitively and categorically broken in mortal kombat trilogy in pretty much every way imaginable those of you that saw Ketchup's competitive history of Noob Cybot will know the specifics as to why, but for those of you seeing it here for the first time, allow me to simplify it. Noob Cybot had it all. Infinite I like, bro, look at Noob. He literally has no color. Like, he's just like a black silhouette. to end combos in said special to guarantee it constantly. High damage combo strings, you name it. And practically every character in the game had no What the hell is this? An infinite? Simply a matter of time until they got hit by something and the round was instantly lost for it. Bro, I, I didn't know. How come this isn't talked about more? As effortlessly as kids with Noob Cybot. And even against real players, it was still pretty much as effective. MK Trilogy. Yo, once you get hit by that, you literally just get infinite. If not the most broken character to ever exist in a Mortal Kombat game, this character was absolutely banned in tournaments and <laughs> still is to this day when original Trilogy is played. Trilogy still sees tournaments even in the more modern era, thanks to emulation and the like. And you'll still be hard pressed to find consistent competitive. I would be so pissed that don't ban if I fought this character and favorite character. And I got hit by infinite. Five instances of characters being banned in Mortal Kombat tournaments. Yo, shout out Ketchup and Mustard for making this video because these guys have been around to play every Mortal Kombat. They've been competitively around Mortal Kombat games since the beginning of time. I want to go back to the Ermac one because I really didn't fully understand why Ermac was busted. Let me airborne specific version of the game oh oh yo i see it look at the bottom left look at the bottom left guys every time he does a teleport he gets a bar of meter and a specific version of the game where for some reason he gets a bar of meter every time he does a special from this very a special move float. out of his float bro that is broken no nah, that is broken that is broken bro what yo shout out ketchup and mustard for making this video and um i'm gonna be reacting to some more of their videos because they honestly have a lot of cool videos and i would love to give you guys my insight if you guys are uh willing to hear it or if you guys want to hear it if there's anything else mortal Kombat related you guys would like to see me uh react to uh, go ahead and drop it in the comments i am fully open-eared to suggestions um on stuff to 
to watch because I'm actually not as cultured in Mortal Kombat lore as you guys think I am. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all watching. Peace.